The battle between MMA, mixed martial arts, and judo is an interesting comparison of two different combat sports. Both MMA and judo have their own unique techniques, strategies, and rule sets. Let's explore some key aspects of each discipline. 1. Techniques and Focus MMA MMA is a full-contact combat sport that combines techniques from various martial arts disciplines, including striking, grappling, and submissions. MMA fighters are trained in a wide range of techniques, such as punches, kicks, knees, elbows, takedowns, clinches, and submissions. Judo Judo is a Japanese martial art and Olympic sport that primarily focuses on throws, grappling, and submissions. Judo practitioners use an opponent's momentum and leverage to execute powerful throws and takedowns. Ground grappling techniques and submissions are also taught, although they are not as extensive as in MMA. 2. Striking versus Grappling MMA MMA fighters are trained in striking techniques from various martial arts, such as boxing, kickboxing, and Muay Thai. They use strikes to create openings, control distance, and inflict damage. Striking techniques in MMA include punches, kicks, knees, and elbows. Judo Judo places a stronger emphasis on grappling and throws rather than striking. Judo practitioners aim to off-balance and throw their opponents to the ground using techniques like hip throws, shoulder throws, and leg sweeps. Once on the ground, judo practitioners utilize pins, chokes, and joint locks to secure victories. 3. Rules and Competitions MMA MMA competitions take place in a controlled environment such as a cage or ring with a comprehensive rule set. Rules typically allow striking, grappling, and submissions, although specific organizations may have variations. Fighters can win by knockout, submission, or judge's decision. Judo Judo competitions have specific rules that focus on throws, takedowns, and grappling techniques. The objective in judo is to throw an opponent onto their back with force and control, resulting in an ippon, full-point victory. Matches can also be won by accumulating smaller scores, such as Waza-Ari or Yuko. 4. Training and Conditioning MMA MMA training is comprehensive and incorporates various aspects of martial arts. Fighters train in striking, grappling, and conditioning to develop a well-rounded skill set. They focus on developing strength, speed, endurance, flexibility, and tactical awareness. Judo Judo training involves learning and mastering specific techniques, throws, and groundwork. Judo practitioners also focus on developing balance, timing, and explosive power. Conditioning in judo often includes strength exercises, cardiovascular training, and practicing techniques repetitively. In a battle between MMA and judo, the outcome depends on various factors, including the skill, experience, and strategy of the fighters involved. MMA fighters have a broader skill set, incorporating striking, grappling, and submissions, whereas judo practitioners specialize in throws and ground control. If an MMA fighter can effectively neutralize a judoka's throws and take the fight to the ground, their broader skill set may provide an advantage. However, a skilled judoka's ability to execute powerful throws and control the fight on the ground can pose a significant challenge for MMA fighters. It's important to note that individual skill levels, physical attributes, and strategies play a crucial role in determining the outcome of any combat sports matchup. Both MMA and judo have their strengths and weaknesses, and success in competition often depends on the fighter's ability to adapt, exploit opportunities, and effectively utilize their techniques.